So Tracy, we're talking about the OER DEIA guide and you were involved in the development of it and you focused on two key components of the guide, the collaboration plan and the teacher and staff professional learning plan. I wanna talk for a minute about the collaboration plan and the thought process that you had as you were working on that specific section why did you feel that it was so important to add that component to the plan? Well, because collaboration is one of the key aspects of open education resources. One of the main um, ideas around open education resources is having the ability to remix, reuse, and and share with each other. Um, so it's it's important to have a good collaboration started. Uh, one of the things that you'll see in that collaboration plan is being able to have trust within the people that you're collaborating with and working with. Um, I, I personally found a lot of the information from remixing some an open education resource that was already in use. Um, the Ina Cole Open Educational Resource and Collaborative Content Development. And that that's really that's really the I I think a lot of the backbone of using those kinds of resources is being able to share with each other and work with each other. So that became a very important part to me. And I love that you added it. I we can't do this work in silos. You can't try to take on an initiative of this scale by yourself. You should always feel like you have a community to support you, right? Yes. And there's no need to reinvent the wheel. If there's exactly. if, if something's already out there, use it. <laughs> Find it, use it, share it, give credit for it to whomever yeah. you borrowed it from. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. <laughs> and the, the teacher and staff professional learning plan. I know you and I have talked about this a lot, but you know, let's let's go on the record and talk a little bit about that as well. The importance of making sure that your staff has the knowledge and the skills that they need to implement this. So what was your approach in putting that section of the guide together? So as a virtual learning specialist who's worked with a ton of teachers, especially over the last couple of years, um, I think it's incredibly important to make sure you have a structure for the professional development. It's important that you understand what your teachers or educators in general already already have a base knowledge of and what are they already doing that, that you're wanting them to expand on. So that went into it um, in finding out, you know, doing a needs assessment and figuring out what 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 can you what can they expand on that they've already been doing. Uh, I also, again, using my don't reinvent the wheel, I used an OER starter kit that had already been created um, from uh, CUNY, the New York City University. <laughs> anyway, um, so I, I used their starter kit that they had won. They actually received a Global Open Ed Reuse Remix Adaptation Award. So I, I used that a little bit to kind of come up with what a plan should look like to get started with, with uh, professional development in open education resources. And I love that. I love that within the guide, you have that whole chart put out in there for everyone so that they can see what it looks like when you go through, you have your getting started and then you have copyright and fair use. You break everything down. You let everybody know these are all of the different resources that can help you to help your staff be prepared with this. So as an administrator, as one of those core team members, you don't have to figure all of this out on your own. Instead, we've said, hey, we have some starting points for you. And then by all means, you can go and extend beyond that and supplement and enhance however you want. But we are trying to lay that solid foundation so that as you as a core team member or your extended team members, as they go through, they feel like they have the knowledge and the information to be successful. Absolutely. Absolutely. And we know that everybody's in a different place. So you might have a teacher that that has never done anything with the open education resources. And then you might have a teacher that is experienced with the Creative Commons licensing process. So it helps to have an outline like that, that you can, they can jump in where their level is and, and they don't 
not everybody has to start in the same place. You can start them at, the, at their needs level. Personalized to every staff member, just like we personalized every student, right? Absolutely, absolutely. You got it. Thank you so much for sharing your thoughts on those two sections. I really appreciate it. Sure.